But if we change the price to market cap, look what's going on. And this is where I'm very concerned. Some of your favorite crypto gaming coins that are pumping really hard right now have a problem that a lot of your favorite crypto influencers are not telling you about. I'm not here to FUD your bags. I'm a huge crypto gaming bull. I own a bunch of crypto gaming coins. I just want you to be informed of this very real risk. The problem is with inflation. No, I'm not talking about Jerome Powell and interest rates and all that stuff. I'm talking about token, how many tokens are in supply. The reality is when a lot of these coins launched like Immutable X back in the frothy bull run, they hardly had any of their total supply circulating. When we look at this chart to the naked untrained eye, you might feel FOMO and you're actually super duper bullish on this of like, hey, it's breaking out. It's going to go do a reverse cup and handle. Uh, well, not reverse, but a quote unquote cup and handle. And this thing's going to break out to the upside, yada, yada, yada. And on a price standpoint, yeah, it's gone up. It's over 200, almost 200% since the open of the year. That's great. Really good gains. Shout out to everyone who made money. But if we change the price to market cap, look what's going on. And this is where I'm very concerned because we are back at the 2021 market cap. So... You really have to ask yourself, holy frick, <laughs> the token is so inflated. Like, we're not even close to get back to the price here. Our, this has to go to like, this has to go to like what, like 20 billion? I mean, yeah, technically something like that. It's got to go very high. It's got to go way above. Sorry, it's got to go to like 10 billion. It's got to go to 10 billion. You got to ask yourself, like, if you're buying right here. How do you know you're just not like buying the top here and it's just going to move sideways a bunch, right? We got a lot of volume coming in. That's great. And this is like, I mean, anyone who's looking at this, this is bullish, right? It's a cup and handle. It's breaking out. This is, this could be the new floor, yada, yada, yada. But I'm just saying people are looking at the price chart and they're not even considering how badly this token has been inflated. Now it's better than ever, like in terms of like, Getting in, you know, now would have been way better. You're going to have to wait years for the people who bought here. It might be years till you see these prices again. That's how much inflation has occurred. And I'm not trying to fud IMX. I'm a big gaming supporter. I love IMX. I'm actually, this is on uh, my radar to scoop up sometime. But like, who is telling you this, right? A lot of these influencers who are shilling you IMX or shilling Alluvium. I bought this at 39 bucks. I sold yesterday. I sold this. I made 150% and I'm like, I'm out. This chart is also very scary, guys. We saw a crazy run. Once again, the dilution back here was really bad because there was no tokens in supply. So when you have hardly any tokens in supply, um, the the price per token went crazy high. <laughs> the price chart is like, it's, it's still down 94% on its price chart. But look at the market cap. It's, it's retraced 70%. Like, is that not concerning? That concerns me. I like, it's okay. And I'm I'm not one of those like deflation maxis that are like, yo, it has to always be deflation and you can't have incentives and you can't have inflation in your ecosystem. No, I actually think like there's a certain point where you actually get way more out of having a bit of inflation that like the incentives are ripe and good that it actually adds fuel to demand and the demand runs circles around the inflation and, and it doesn't even matter like what neo tokyo bites is doing this is just crazy to me like it's crazy that the market cap went up from here up to here almost 10x but the price only moved like 2x that's extremely concerning um, so I kind of just wanted to put this out there. I feel like I, I don't see like hardly any influencers covering how bad these tokens have diluted um, in their valuations, how many tokens hit, have hit supply. Now, this is good in terms of now you're actually getting it at, at a fairer value. But the people who bought here, when like how long are you going to wait? Like I, I it really concerns me. And some people are so bullish. Oh, it's going to go. It's going to go retrace. It's going to go on a run. Dude, it's already retraced. You know what I'm saying? It's already back to 2021 valuations on market cap. 
it's got to hit a home run with its game that launched on Epic Games. If it doesn't hit a home run, it's going to be years till you see this, you know? And once again, I am a major gaming bull, guys. Like, I'm not the type of dude who's trying to just crap on gaming. I believe in it so much. I It's like my num one of my number one bets. But I also, we have to be a little bit realistic and learn from the lessons of the past to know that, like, hmm, yeah, maybe maybe this is a bit of a concern or maybe we, we aren't going to... Some people think gaming coins are about to go to, like, in a bull run, like, right now. We've had a nice retracement like we had in the beginning of the year. We had, like, a nice little bounce, you know? People made, people made money. It happened again. I hope this runs. I really want people to make money, but I'm just putting that out there to be like, yo... Be careful, you know, like, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe December will be green. This will go to 300 bucks. Hallelujah. Like, please, like, let's make money. Like, sure. I I'm really not opposed, but this is concerning. This, this, this chart, this, this is really concerning, man. Like how much room is left? And if you're buying here, ask yourself, you're buying 2021 valuations. So that's my only, uh, that's, that's, that's my two cents. I just want you guys to be informed um, you know, like, let me know what you think down below. Can the demand side outpace the inflation side? Yes. But for this period of time, like, I don't know how much was this 10 to 20 times the supply has like, if this started off with just like a million tokens, and now we're at 6 million tokens in circulating supply. If they like diluted this by six times there, that means there has to be six X the demand now just to keep prices stable as they were before. If you're trying to see growth, that means you're going to need to see like 12 times the demand for it to completely outpace the dilution and not have an imp impact on the price chart, but it hasn't been able to do that, right? So I I, I am hopeful. I think it, it needs time. These coins will probably break out eventually. The quality ones will. I don't think it's going to be in the near term. I don't think we're going to $1,000 in the near term. Like that's outlandish. That's too greedy. You know, we know the crypto market right now is the greed is ticking up. So just be wary out there, guys. Um, you know, just wanna wanted to get that in your hands so you're more informed and aware of the risks. Again, ApeCoin's a really good example, actually, because everyone talks about, oh, this has an inflation problem. This has an inflation problem. But the funny thing is no one's talking about that on Alluvium and RIMX. They're just basically S in the D of these projects hard. But on ApeCoin, if you actually take a look, flip between price and market cap, it's actually pretty good. The dilution's not that bad. Like a lot of people are, are complaining about the dilution. With Ape, it's so heavily tied to the NFTs. That's why the demand has gotten crushed. And also there's no real product right now. But the dilution is actually, it's way better than Alluvium and, and uh, IMX. I don't understand all this FUD on ApeCoin of, oh, it's, there's so much inflation. There's so much inflation. Dude, you want to talk about inflation? Look at this chart, bro. This is disgustingly bad. Like, <laughs> this is... Guys, come on. Price is here, but market cap is hitting ATH? Like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know down below. Uh, once again, like, if the project's really good, the demand side will totally outrun the inflation. But um, I just want you guys to be informed, man. I'm actually quite bullish on Ape. I think it's fudded into hell. The sentiment on, on Bored Apes, Ape, that whole thing has gotten so bad. But definitely be wary, guys. When you're looking into tokens, especially tokens that launched last cycle, you need to be informed of when those token unlocks are occurring. Uh, because the dilution on some of these are really aggressive. You know what I'm saying? So let me know down below. What do you think? Do you think it's not a problem? You know, tell me what's going on in your mind. What are you thinking about... I personally think that in the short term, these heavily uh, inflated tokens, they're probably not going to go on crazy runs in the short term. I think, you know, they're, they're good long-term bets. I definitely think long-term is a whole different story. But um, I just, it just sucks to see, you know, it sucks to see that much inflation uh, going on. So if you enjoyed this, smash a like, and I will see you on the next one. This is Dan. Peace out.